Hi everyone, this is Mundan Nagavan and this video we are going to start with Playwright with TypeScript. People normally go with Playwright with the Java if you are coming from the Java Selenium background. However, we have lot of benefits if you start using the TypeScript with Playwright. So in this video, we are going to see what are those basic benefits and what are the installation we need to do in case if you want to start from scratch. We will see some of the examples here. One is the reporting. When you go with other than TypeScript or JavaScript, the reporting part you need to take care and you need to write some kind of code. If you go with JavaScript or TypeScript, you can do nothing because it will be coming from out of the box. And when you compare other languages codes like a Java or .NET, the JavaScript code will be very very concise and you can understand and you can write very precisely. However, when you go with JavaScript, there is no type. It's a dynamic type language. But Microsoft came with a TypeScript, which means that it gives the type safety for the JavaScript. TypeScript is nothing but a wrapper over the JavaScript, which gives the type safety for the JavaScript. And my favorite point is VS Code extension for Playwright. In other languages or in other IDEs, you may need to execute some terminal commands and you need to put some tagging or let's say some stickers or something some different commands you need to use it to to execute to debug and to do some different kind of activities to see the total let's say total test cases to open the browser and to find the locator you need to go to the different let's say browsers and copy the locator and come back to the code and write it in VS Code extension, you can do a lot of things without moving to the other window, which means that you can record it, you can test it, you can open the test report, you can see all the test cases in one place, you can debug, you name it anything you can do from the VS Code extension. So we will see these things at, at overall, at high level, and then we will move to the installation part. Just go for the marketplace in the Visual Studio and here you can see the Playwright test for VS Code and it should be from the Microsoft and here you can see a lot of things. See for example you can install the Playwright not even going to the uh, different terminal or something. You can choose the browser and you can just run the test by single click. You don't need to open multiple things and mention the tag name or nothing like that. You can directly run from a single click. You can run multiple test cases. You can open the browser from here. And even you can create the locators. You don't need to go. If you just find the locator automatically, it comes to your code IDE. You can see in this video. See here you can see it. the ID will be there. It's, you, it's up to you whether you can copy that and use it or you can just leave it. And debugging, there are a lot of things here. And concise code, you can compare if you go to the playwright.dev and you compare node.js and along with other languages like a java and dotnet you will come to know however if you know java you need to write lot of code but if you know that it will be easy still i would prefer to go with typescript and javascript in future you will have more benefits in coming days also then type safety that we will see a separate video or as and when we go to the different coding then we will come to know how it will be type safety and reporting part here you can see in the reporting part by default you can have the list reporter line reporter for example you can go you can see the report something like this or you can go to the line reporter which will show something like this and you can see the dot reporter and maximum we will use the HTML reporter where you can see the HTML files and you, you can have JSON reporter, JUnit reporter, lot of things from the out of the box. So that's the reason I will prefer just to go with JavaScript or TypeScript. Now coming to the installation part. So when you want to do the installation, it's very, very basic. In general, you need to have the Node.js and the VS Code. However, it is not related to the Playwright. Node.js can be used for any Node packages. And VS Code is the general editor. You can even use it for other languages as well and we are going to install the playwright. If you are starting from the scratch, then you need to install the Node.js first. <laughs> For Node.js, you need to go to the official website, nodejs.org, and install the very latest LTS version. 
Why? Because if you install the Node.js, then you will be having the Node Package Manager and Node Package Explorer or npx command. In my case, I already have installed, but in your case, you can just install and you can have the Node.js. If you want to confirm the Node.js has been installed or not, just go to the command prompt and type node iPhone iPhone version and you will have the version. If you want to check the npm, I, npm iPhone iPhone version and the same way you check for the npx. and you have the npx as well. So that means that we are good to go because we have the node.js and we have the npm and the npx as well. Then after that you can install the VS code from the code.visualstudio.com. It's free. By default it will be finding your OS based on that it will give. If you have other OS like a Mac or Linux you can download accordingly. Since I have already installed that VS code I will just go to the Visual Studio code directly. First you need to create the folder, just go to any folder that you want to create the project, documents and create a new folder, sorry playwright, ts, enter. Now you can drag this folder to the visual studio code, you can see here the project has been created and you can open the terminal just go to the bottom and click here and click on terminal so now you can see the same let's say folder structure here or the same path to start our typing now going to the ppt again so you have the node.js you have the vs code now we need to install the playwright you might wonder do we need to install the typescript separately no need why? Because when you install the playwright only, it will be prompting for you to whether to go with JavaScript or TypeScript. If you are using the TypeScript, it will take care of the TypeScript. Let's go to the playwright, official documentation, and go to the docs. Considering you have the Node.js selected, go to the installation part and look for the npm command. We already confirmed the npm has been installed. Just copy this and go to the VS Code. Right click. Node package manager init that means that it is initializing the playwright project with the latest version. Enter and it is telling you want to create with the version 1.17.125. Yes, and here it is asking you want to go with TypeScript or JavaScript. By default, it will be selected as a TypeScript. So we are going with TypeScript, so just make enter and remaining things enter and github actions as of now no and install playwright browsers yes we don't want to install by ourselves let's let make this code itself install other browsers and it created the package.json which means that this will have all the dependencies that we need for the playwright project and installing everything And one more thing to be noted is whenever you install something, however, playwright does not matter, but whenever you install some packages through npm, make sure you have zero vulnerabilities. Otherwise, if you have vulnerabilities, you need to check with that package and you need to see whether it's good to go if it is a security related things. So in the initial time, it will download all the Chrome and Firefox and other browsers, why? Because it's the first time.
but going forwards you don't need to download every time because it's already there and you will start using the same web browsers or browsers or webkit or firefox whatever you have now everything has been downloaded and we started our project successfully and we have the package.json where you have all your dependencies as of now we have only the playwright and since we have chosen typescript there will be a file called playwright.config.ts this file is like a heart of the playwright configuration for the typescript there are a lot of things we need to learn we need to set up we need to enable we need to disable the lot of things are here but let's see while going forward we will understand more on the playwright.config.ts however other examples test examples you can see the sample test code and you will be writing all your testers under the test folder here you can see and here you have all the node modules that we don't need to worry it's the libraries now the final part will be the playwright installation or extension you can see playwright test for vs code here you can see that is already installed however in your case it might be install button just click on install and you will be good to go now even though we have the playwright installation sometimes it takes to it takes some time to install or to configure this extension to our current code let's go to the code and let me restart one more time and here you can go to the testing part yes you are here you can see in the testing part you can see all the test cases under here because in the configuration you mentioned where you can find your test cases you mentioned test folder so you can find all the test cases which you are adding to the test folder and here you can see the run button debug button it's like a ui and after that you can see the play rate options below that and here you can see show the browser uh, pick the locator record the new recording using the code gen a record from the cursor a reveal the test output so you can see a lot of things here however this video is all about the introduction and just to install the basic things and here you can see you can run it from directly from here also so we have done successfully installation for the different things like node js vs code vs code extension and the play rate with typescript so this is all about this video so let's say in coming videos we will explore more on the play rate with TypeScript. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.